Intention to treat and per protocol are both methods of analyzing results and prospective randomized studies. Let's assume we are conducting a study with drug A and drug B in patients with AUTI, with the primary outcome being a negative urine culture at one month. Through initial randomization, 50 patients were assigned to drug A and 50 to drug B. During the study, four patients died in the drug A group and one in the drug B. Two patients in the drug A group only completed one week of therapy instead of four weeks. Five patients in the drug B group also did not complete the full four weeks of therapy. In an intention to treat analysis, when we calculate the number of patients with a negative culture at one month, we will also include the patients who died during the study and the ones who didn't complete the treatment. So let's assume the final result was 31 out of 50 for drug A. Now, was it truly 19 people that still had a positive culture at one month? Well, no, since some of the patients out of the 19 didn't actually get to take four weeks of the therapy due to death or non-compliance. Intention to treat is beneficial since it's more representative of real life situations where it's possible for patients to die anytime while on therapy or just non-compliant to the directions. For intention to treat, just remember this statement, once randomized, always analyzed. In a per protocol analysis, the results calculation only include patients who follow the trial protocol exactly as written. So let's go back to our results. Under the per protocol analysis, we will not include patients who died during the study and the ones who didn't complete the treatment course. So the result will actually be based on 50 minus the ones who didn't complete it. So 44 total followed the trial protocol and completed it. So let's assume that the final result is 40 out of 44. So 40 patients had a negative urine culture at one month. Per protocol analysis may be appropriate when analyzing the adverse events in drug trials since the side effects are only relevant and significance for patients who actually were taking the medication. Because per protocol includes only adherent patients, it may overestimate the effects of the treatment expected outside of a clinical trial.